Right, welcome back to Firesaver video uh, about solar or any production really. So in the previous videos we've looked at and skipped over a few things which I'll now come back to. One of the ones which I purposely skipped over was uh, this middle panel which not everyone uses, not everyone has solar, but if you do then you're going to want to look at this one. So let's, we can just make it a bit easier for ourselves, close that, open that. This demo site does have solar, at the moment it's producing essentially zero, but um, today, it's the evening now, today uh, it was producing um, quite a lot, actually it was doing quite well, and on average it's producing 20 kilowatt hours a day uh, and that's you can there's some kind of guidelines you can use to see if your solar's uh, producing as as much as it should let's have a look at the detail uh, this graph gives us the overview of solar production so and what it means in terms of what your meter sees so there's a bit of detail here let's break it down by starting at midnight here's midnight um, very little consumption, solar's off, green solar, solar's off, solar's off, still it's still off. Eventually it starts up at um, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning and it's going to have our nice sine curve up here. <clears throat> and what we're seeing here is although the consumption does rise a bit during the day, maybe the air con was on, there's so much solar it's above the red line which is the consumption the solar is greater than the consumption therefore the net result as me measured by the meter and by fire saver is negative so this is exporting power all this stuff if we change the period just to see what happened in the rest of the day we can see that eventually the solar or the sun went down uh, the consumption stayed reasonably high and therefore this is zero here, therefore the uh, net result was we started going above zero which means we're importing and then we started importing at night. If you really want to get down into the nitty gritty of how that solar is going, um, we can use our circuit analysis, this is the detailed one, and it's under production. So let's use some of the more advanced stuff and <coughs> So actually we'll use this production just to isolate the production. So we can see, as expected, this is the same graph we saw before, but it's just the, the finer grain detail. So we can see a kind of interesting phenomenon here that the inverter is probably slightly undersized because this graph, this energy being produced, got clipped at 2.7 kilowatts it could have done this but it didn't because the inverter was um, slightly undersized which is not that um, abnormal so it peaked here and the rest of the energy was wasted these are clouds probably coming in and this interestingly is probably shadowing it's not too bad this is the nice uh, curve you get you expect to see when there's no shadowing and here we start seeing some blips and clouds perhaps as well and then some shadowing so we're getting pretty good results here um, we can then <coughs> look at what it means for us in terms of dollars and this is a fairly simplistic uh, approach to doing that um, we can do custom dashboards that really get this exactly right but this is the first um, first pass at working out the solar contribution. So in this case the estimated bill is negative and the reason for that is that, does that make sense? Well on average we're consuming about 13 kilowatt hours but we're producing close to double that. So once we account for a service charge, a nominal service charge, um, import export rates etc which is explained in the information bits here we estimate that the bill based on the current 24 hours of data will be this and um, we can modify
modify those numbers to get it exactly right as time goes on. So that's your solar information. Close those. So recapping that one, under production, this is the average. And if we go to, we won't see all this information because we only have two days data, but if we went out to uh, in a month's time, came back, looked at it, we'll see all our average energy productions and we can see what's happening on an hour to hour basis, drill down further in circuit analysis.